Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Europe, playing Hearts of Iron 4 as the United Kingdom of Portugal and Brazil. So right now, uh, this isn't where we left off, it's about December 9th, 1944, our American campaign is, uh, well, it's going. It's definitely going, the Americans are pretty tough to crack, but right now, we have a small little invasion in northern France, once again, like normal, and, uh, really, I want to take up the polls, because... Take a look at this. The Axis looks pretty good in Europe. Looking pretty good. Sure, you have the Nordic countries kind of gone, and Finland there, and Iceland, and allies, but... I mean, Africa's almost pretty solid, except for Liberia. And this is how Russia turned out. So, I gave Yugoslavia all this. I took the Crimea just for funsies. Italy got the Caucasus, as well as a little part of Asia. Japan, of course, got all this. For some reason... Mongolia is still the leader of the common turn. Whatever, cool. And then the Reich, well actually Italy got Stalingrad. The Reich got Moscow. And I gave Bourbon and France some territory because they did pretty well. Leningrad. So, that's how it kind of divided out. And we have until December 14th to take out the Poles. Now this is going to be an interesting war. Just for, you know, late game, end game type of stuff. Just because there's no divisions guarding the Axis territory over here. Um, yeah. So... Also, we do have some resistance down here in Chile, but I have been using a lot of armored cars. Actually, it's mostly armored cars now. 7,500 manpower, 32 suppression. How many more armored cars do I have? Oh, let's throw, let's throw on at least two more. So, armored cars, less manpower, please. Thank you. Look at all that armor. A whole 2.4 armor. That's a lot of armor now. So, my occupied territories are looking uh, not too bad. This is 0 0.06 of a division to get where we need to be. India's point three one. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's, let's, let's over Marshall. Let's go to secret local police force, not secret police. Oh wait, we do have secret police though. Wow, look at that resistance. It's way low. Uh, let's do that one just for funsies. Let's switch it all to local police force. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe that's a good idea. I don't know. Well, actually, I kind of do know. Local police force isn't too bad. But let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun here for the polls and see them decimate. Axis held Russia for a little bit, just because we can. Just because. Because I don't like seeing a lot of enemy factions in Europe once we've done it, dominated the world. And now that'll pull some soldiers off. These guys will be fine. I'm not really worried about this. So, uh, This isn't no small faction, though. And I only have one army around here to help out. So, Kind of want to see what will happen. Oh, well, we need to call the Germans in. Call to arms. There we go. Now they're going to attack us in Germany. Which is... Eh, not great. Actually, you know what? If you're not if you're not going to call in Yugoslavia, you might as well finish off this part of the line then. Ooh. There you go. That's a little better. Very nice. Very nice. Pretty good. See what happens. We might get pushed back a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. I really want the German soldiers in all the Axis. Oh. Well, there goes that. All this territory. But uh, pull them over here so that we can take these guys out. Prussia's going to get taken out. We're going to hold the line for a while. Or lose a little bit. Doesn't really matter too much. The Axis will start sending thousands of soldiers that way. And I'm still trying to bomb this area. Also, between this episode and the last, besides, you know, the Soviet Union capitulating, uh, there's been a lot of collaboration governments down here too. French Cameroon, Algeria, Italy, and Libya. I have some uh, collaboration governments down here too, in uh, oh Burundi, 82% compliance. It's good eight. And Rwanda, ah, uh, the best African nations. Double check this, and then we will go check out America just a little bit. French Cambodia, very cool, very cool. I really want the Axis to show up here, because if not, well, this is going to be a really strong polling for them. Let's see, casualties. I've lost how many against the Poles? 12,000. They're in their own factions, so they can't join the Allies. I lost 38,000 to us, which is pretty darn nice. Not gonna lie. Well, you know what, Axis? You should have thought of this before. I declared war on them, so. Besides, Germany has. What soldiers does Germany have? Let's see, they have. 3 million manpower in reserve, which is a lot. 400 factories. They have 264 divisions. Now, a lot of them are in America, but, uh, yeah. 
They should have been guarding their territories a little bit better. Ooh, and I've been doing more uh, naval stuff too. There we go. Even though I need to be doing more battleship stuff. Subs are okay. You know, they're alright. Actually, I should probably do a naval, naval auction. I haven't done this at all yet. Uh, tying up their fleet. Destroying supply lines. I did. I am still making quite a few subs. Let's, use, let's do this one. I never do trade interdiction. Alright, how's this looking? Pretty, pretty darn normal. Um, America. America. What are you doing? Where are your divisions? They're all over the line, maybe except for Florida. Um, this does not look good for Colorado. Uh, I mean, we're doing okay. It's okay here. It's not great. We took Seattle, at least. Uh, attacking here is going to be a pain in the butt. I doubt we could really attack and win here. 59, 60... 59. Yeah, we're not going to win there. Oh, we have another operative? Oh, okay. Sure, I'll take it. I'll take another operative. Did someone die? I think someone might have died. I have four people here in the States doing intel stuff. <sighs> Maybe I'll do Poland. Maybe we should have done that before. I did make a collaboration government for the United States, though. That's kind of cool. For America, steel industrial blueprints. Prepare a collaboration government. I'm pretty sure I already did that. Let's do it again. That's okay. Counterintelligence, we'll use you. And you're an infiltrator, so we'll use you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Not bad. How strong is Poland? That's a good question to ask. Don't have a lot of divisions around here. And the Germans are trying to get divisions up here as well as the French. Very good. You know what? Let's just pull you guys around here. We can smash these guys since we stretched out their lines just a little bit right here. Let's start making some encirclements. Oh, we got plenty of political power too. Nice. Very good. Let's do that. Thank you. Four bonds. Those are okay. There's really no good place for me to attack. Oh, excavation too. Very good. Oh, let me attack right there. Should be able to win. Let's go ahead and grab more rubber. Let's get some more excavation one. Resource wise, we're doing okay. I need more steel and definitely more aluminum. Or aluminium. Fuel refining, very good, very good. Estonia's been called in. We got some battleships. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Let's grab some operational integrity. Finally started doing my land auction in 1944. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Let's get some improved infantry equipment. That'd be good, very good. Oh, look at that. That's not good. Especially since we pulled off a lot of soldiers here to contain the Polish threat. Oh, I'm losing planes like crazy in the English Channel, too. Well, they haven't gotten a war with Yugoslavia, which is kind of good, I suppose. Come on, get down here so we can smash these guys easily. Maybe I should have been a little bit more prepared for war with Poland. But then again, so should the French. Some Chinese convoys. Just hold here for now, guys. We'll take him out soon enough. No worries. Also, you might be wondering, why is there a division here? Oh, no, wait. There was... Oh. Actually, no. Uh, I'll be honest. Like, I was doing, like, plant false intelligence. Okay, there goes Guatemala. Nice. And it gave me a bunch of different divisions. For Kino Faso. Uh, you're fighting... These guys? Oh, come on. I don't care about naval stuff. Oh, there's a little rebellion going on down there. Whatever. So, Atlantic Defense Strategy. We can do Endless Sea. That looks pretty good, actually. Let's do that. So, our enclaves in Asia are exposed to hostilities by the empires that surround them. We must focus on strengthening their defenses so that they can resist any potential invasion. Very good. And I can build more stuff up. I need nuclear attack. I definitely need nuclear attack. But, Brazil, it's your turn to shine again. Nothing says nuclear attack like nuclear Amazons. Very good. Uh, we don't really need that much else. But that'll be good for now. Let's see. Can we go ahead and make... Not you. Not you. You. Let's get some... Oh my goodness. I don't even have good guns. Holy cow. I only have radar one, too. Holy crud. Nothing there. That's really bad. Yeah, maybe we should have spent more time researching naval stuff. Yeah. Oh well, what's done is done. Anti air, thank you. And then we'll grab some anti subs would be okay, but let's get some more anti air. 
it will have to suffice. And we're going to need some steel to even use these guys. So, you come to Mercia. Let's grab a little bit more steel. Uh, Bourbon France. Yes. And do that there. Do that there. And do that there. Very good. Very good. Very good. Happy 1945, my friends. Happy 1945. Let's see. Hmm. Take this out. Take this out. Uh, we might. We might have a chance here. Yeah, we do have a small chance. Good. Did America cover their lines yet? They did. I wish the Axis would try to strike a little bit more often, but then again, we're we made them go to war with Poland, so you might be able to win here. I mean, our guys are forty combat width, so pretty beefy boys. Should be able to win slowly but surely. America will fall. Uh, our tank should be ready by now. Thank you. I'd be surprised. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to take these guys out and take after you guys and march on a. Oh boy, someone. There's gotta be something happening. Like, how's it that laggy? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey, a battleship sunk. Nice. This is turning into a bigger problem than I thought. Oh well. Nice. Keep thinking a lot of stuff, you guys. You're doing great. There's actually not that many divisions around here, so that's actually pretty good. Oh, look. Now they've moved their armies around. Holy cow. No wonder you, those allies are invading quickly. Look at all those guys. Beautiful. Just going to hold for now. Because we're going to strike right here next if we can. How many ports they got? Oh, it's lo only level 1. It's not bad. Look at what's going on here. Holy cow. Fortress Poland. Definitely a Fortress Poland. Hmm... Good, keep taking the convoys, I lost some more subs, whatever. Things happen, you know. Am I producing ships? I need even more steel. Uh, I wish I had my own steel production. But this is not Road to 56. Why am I repairing German ships? Eh, well, the faster they get out, the faster they can die, probably. Cool. Next up, we gotta attack here. This does not look ideal. Can we win there with... This many divisions. Maybe. Now, we are worth Canada. Going up here would probably open that up. Let's see. Can we attack there and win? We should be able to. Anywhere else along this front? Mexican Junior declare war in El Salvador. They love going to war with so many different people. Hey! And I'm joined here now with my cat, Binky. Lusophonian cat, Binky. Come on, come on. Come on, Bink. Holy cow, it's extraordinarily laggy. The game has become much more laggy ever since uh, La Resistance dropped. It's been incredibly laggy. I'm really not sure why. Even with the garrisons and stuff, I think it's because of a lot of people doing uh, resistance stuff, maybe. Or spy stuff. Good, good, good. Uh, a lot of dead tactical bombers, naval bombers. We don't need to see that. We don't need to see that. Alright, so now you gotta smash through here. But you should be able to. Should be able to. Good. Awesome. Another division, sure. Uh, Raul, I still don't like Raul. Artur. Oh, wait, that's, no, I want you right here. Come on, man. It's. It, wait, what? No. Why did you do that? Game. Game. No. Are you kidding me? It's so laggy now. Then again, most people probably shouldn't be playing until 1945. Probably. Cool. Uh, take that guy out if you can. The Brits don't have that many divisions, so I'm not too worried about it. Come on, me. French Congo. Whatever. Yeah, those horses are going to die there. They're going to not move. Oh, they're retreating. Cool. Naval invasions, you know, normal stuff. Uh, I want to kill this division off so badly. Let's see. Without you... Could you two win, but then you're going to help support the attack here? 
French. Oh my god. I don't know. I just. There's so much lag here. Holy cow. Oh my god, stop calling people in, please. This is why you don't want to. This is why resistance, garrisons, collaboration governments. It's best not to release them. It's just really not best to do it. It makes the game so incredibly laggy. So incredibly laggy. Do we win? We didn't win? No, you drew it again. I'm giving you four stack. Either die or win. Yeah, they got the horses back. I'm not going to waste time doing this. So, without you. Ah, no, an agent was killed in the United States. Well, that's bound to happen. Very good. Come on, Bink. Alright, come on, come on. Come on, stupid motorized divisions, come on. Alright, good, good, good. Yeah, they took quite a few hits, but you know what? They deserved it. Just because I don't know how they were not able to smash them here easily. Are they 20 combat width? Yeah, they're only 20 combat width. Let's see. You got plenty of motorized. You know, I'll make them bigger motorized divisions. You probably honestly use them to be bigger, thicker boys. Let's do that. Let's do that. Very good. All right, another infantry division. Good. Plop them right there. You all help, like, just guard the coast coast-ish area. Hopefully you don't get encircled. We'll see what happens. Holy cow, what is going on over here? They have definitely sent a lot of things over in the English Channel. Which is a good opportunity to sink some ships, even though we're losing quite a few planes. That's okay. Alright, so we busted through here. And I know no one liked that, but that's okay. They don't have to like it. Just accept it. And then we'll probably attack right here next with that division moves. Oh, let's do attack right here right now. There's only three divisions, but you guys are pretty weak. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Cool, let's let our guys get a little bit more strength. Uh, the lines pretty much stopped. The Polish line has definitely been stretched out. Are you in the war with us against them? You should be. Mongolia. <laughs> cool. Coalition, Metamores. Yeah, I don't know why the Axis doesn't like to attack. Seeing as uh, they have way more divisions than the enemy does. And you know what, at this point, I'm going to start concentrating my soldiers a little bit more. This way we can definitely push much harder here. Holy cow, what's the reinforce rate on our guys? That's pretty bad. 32% manpower. It's not even going up. Do we not have equipment for this? We definitely have the equipment for it. Hmm. That's a little unusual. Conversion speed? Sure, why not? You're at 35%. Wow. That's pretty bad. That's honestly pretty bad. Like, I need to double check my reinforce rate. 35. Holy crud. Where is it? Planning speed, max planning, entrenchment, soldiers loss, organization when losing, supply grace, out of supply, German wreck except for offer to blockade stuff, supply consumption. Burkino Faso is gone, good, reinforce rate, yeah, that means 2%, I guess 9% technically. Yeah, this is, sleep Gojo, this is looking pretty good. You guys in America. I'm really tired of America, to be honest with you. Really tired of it. Alright, can't even click on my soldiers. Thank you, game. Thank you. Help support the attack. I really wish the AI would attack more. Oh, well, speak of the devil. I told them I wanted to attack more, and they did it. Great. Improve infantry equipment 3. Let's get some more heart attack and piercing. That'd be good. Yeah, this... Italy, thank you. This doesn't make any sense. 
Mm -mm, this takes so long. And again, again, the game is lagging pretty badly. You know what? Just take the tanks. Attack there. Take the infantry too. Attack from two sides. They shouldn't be able to pierce our tanks. Then again, I don't know why the tanks aren't in the battle. I did send them first, I believe. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll slowly win. Once, especially when the once the tanks get into the battle. Oh man, and they, what is going on? They have only level one forts there. Tanks, I want you to lead. You lead. That is if that didn't make any sense. I even made manually made sure that the tanks went first. Hmm, whatever. Uh yeah, not bad, not bad. Keep taking stuff. At least Axis. Well, the Mexicans are pushing up a little bit. That's good. That's good. Now we have a border with Canada, which eh. Could be worse. We need to attack here next. Should be able to win. That's good. That's good. Gotta keep an eye on manpower. I don't know if three divisions can attack here. What? It's mountains? It's desert. Oh, it's desert. French Madagascar, thank you. Very good, very good. How are you guys doing? Struggling, I see. Alright, please don't click on that. Thank you. Oh, five divisions, good. Well, at least these five divisions will be gone. Immediately move that way. Send the tanks to Danzig. Oh, there are actually three divisions over there. I didn't see them over there. Oh, that's not cool. Hmm. If you want to attack somewhere else, it might be here, actually. Maybe. Alright, so, I'm going to end this little portion here. I will see you in just a little bit once Poland is much more pacified, and I do want to make sure that this is the final episode in this campaign. So, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Hello everyone, sorry about that. So basically this is where we're at. I've been playing this campaign until November 14th. The Poles have fallen, I divided up the Baltic states between the Germans and the French. The United States has fallen, the Mexicans took a lot of territory at the moment, but we haven't done the peace deal yet. yet. And actually, as soon as I started re-recording this, the Commonwealth of Allies, or whatever they want to call them, led by the Canadians, has been destroyed. So I basically gave France all of Canada, uh, we're at war with Japan for some reason, too. I gave Italy, Australia, just so the colors look pretty familiar. Um, yeah, we're at war with Japan. And at this point, we've invaded the UK. We've done so well. But uh, I'm struggling right now with taking a London, because London is a bitch. At level 10 forts, even though I've been bombing them, and they've only done one damage with, like... I know tactical bombers aren't great, but if you do, if you use, like, a thousand bombers, a thousand tactical bombers... They should do okay-ish. I'm not expecting perfection, but my god. Like, seriously. This is almost a little too ridiculous. Bomb the forts, for the love of god. And now they're throwing so many divisions around London. So, we're going to need nukes. I really didn't want to have to say that, but we are going to need nukes. And it's going to take about a few more months before we can actually get there. And I've been bombing the English Navy as well. which is Or British Navy, I should really say, as well. Which is pretty good. Take Portsmouth. I really don't care about this. If we lose men doing this, so be it. I really don't care. They have so many divisions down here, too. I honestly don't understand how they can hold on for this long. Yeah, it's on their core territory. I kind of understand that, but still. They're pretty communist. Wow, they're pretty communist. They almost have no manpower. Uh, they have a ton of divisions somehow. And, of course, they have their volunteers from other places as well, which doesn't help us at all. You know what? If they like no manpower, they can't mobilize any more men. So, Or they could probably mobilize more men, but they can't do much about it. I'll get the tanks up there. Yeah, trying to attack London is impossible. The Greater London area is easy, but London itself, I don't understand how they can do that. Mexican, oh, why'd you go to war with Colombia, guys? Come on. Uh, I'll be honest with you, this this campaign's gone on long enough for me that I'm not really super interested in it anymore. So this is why this is the final episode. I'm tired of this campaign, and the game lags pretty darn harshly. Almost probably too harshly. So, we're going to keep going on. Though, and take literally encircle everyone in London. Alright, let's get make sure that we do something like this. I want to take out all the, all the coasts. 
No more codes for the UK. Please keep bombing the hell out of them. Level 3, finally. Now we're actually getting somewhere. Oof. I was at level 1 for like at least a month. Then now level 2 once I started re-recording. And now level 3. Hopefully we can bomb more of the forts here. Because there's so many forts. Even though London only has 10 out of 10. These guys have none, which is good. Some of these places have 3. Some of these places have 2 or 1. So it's really, really annoying trying to beat these guys up like this. I'm really surprised though. That the Germans do not have nukes by December 1945. So they have a nuclear reactor in Brandenburg. Nuclear reactor in Turingen. Not in Franken. Or here. So they should be researching or working on it. I Here's one thing though I don't understand. Like if we're allied. And maybe maybe it makes sense. Perhaps. But if I have full intel on you. Why don't? Why can't I figure out how many nukes you have? Or nuclear reactors at least. Maybe it's in here somewhere? Oh. Research. Engineering. This is how much the Germans have done. They have nuke. They, they can nuke. Okay. But I would like to see like how many nuclear reactors that they have. I don't see it on the page. Maybe I'm blind. I don't see it on the page here. And this is just the army stuff. It's just navy stuff. Just plain stuff. So perhaps I'm just blind. But I don't see it anywhere. Alright, you guys... If you could help out here, maybe? They don't have a lot of strength. They're getting bombarded by the shore. We might be able to win, maybe? Good. Completely cut them off. Yeah, they have a ton of divisions there. 23. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and just max out the speed as much as possible. I have been making some ships, though. Not too bad ships. Uh, do we have any more? Oh, 22 these guys. That's not bad. Take half, you guys. Throw them onto some part of the line that need help. And, or just throw everyone there. Okay. Or you guys can come there. Because I did try to invade the UK by... Well, actually, I set up my guys to do naval invasion support, but I did convoy escort first. And then the French invaded Wales. They had a breakthrough, and then they started taking central England, and I pushed into northern Scotland. So that was pretty easy. But the London area. Mmm. No thank you, man. No thank you. That's Garbo area. Ah, oh, Belize. Belize. Oh, they're invading us down here again. Cool. Belize. Hello there. They're gone. At least America's gone too. That's actually kind of nice. But I guess America doesn't build too much forts in Washington, D.C. Excuse me. D.C. Sundress. No. The Americans don't like building forts in their own homeland. But the U.K. does. UK loves forts. Oh, we actually won. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Can we win there now? We should be able to win there. Throw some more infantry on the line. Oh, we might be taking over a river, too. That's not good. Capital ship raiders. That's kind of nice. Uh, just in case, I'm building some strategic bombers. How much air damage are we doing? Because we have air superiority. Ooh. We also want to do that. Uh, they're shooting down our planes just a little bit. They've got a couple planes here and there. But they're running out of planes, hopefully. They shouldn't have any fuel at this point, either. Because America lost Texas for so long in Oklahoma. I don't think Alaska had any fuel, either. Oh, we won. Good. Great. Here's my strategy. If we don't get nukes, I can take all the tiles away from the UK. Surround London, but can do a continuous attack so that they can never reinforce. That's the idea. Ooh, and actually we take out their, their air base. That would be especially good. Oh, wait, never mind. They have 28 divisions there. Holy cow. Now we do need more planes. More bombers would be... Oh, I got a lot of naval bombers. Don't think I need naval bombers as much now, though. Throw up one thing of fighter twos. That'd be great. And I think we can rescue one of our guys, too, now. That'd be good. Operations. So... Do the London area. Um, wow, we got a lot of people down here. Do the London area. At this point, I'm just doing London area probably. Uh, I send you to Paris. They need some intel. You are coming to the London area as well. Because even though they, I know they have way reduced benefits, I just want to build this up as fast as possible. Can we attack here, perhaps? I 
ecuador is gone good but keep throwing more divisions in here 25 24 yeah we can't do anything so let's go on as fast as possible keep killing their ships that'll be good they have so many divisions though yeah nukes are the way forward that's why i want to get these uh strategic bombers actually i wonder does germany have any strategic bombers to get lend me No, I guess not. Disappointing. But we'll have nuclear bombs in two months. And... Yeah, I've got naval air research. And strategic bombers in 180 days. That's not bad. Cool. Uh, carrier effort. Because, why not? So we got 13 divisions there. They have a couple of divisions here. That is a tile that we desperately need. Yeah, London's way too strong. Where are my tanks? Send you up here. Help attack, maybe. Because they have over 70 divisions in Dover. That's insane. And they suffer no penalties to supply. I know they're 70 and they're like not really strong, but... Holy cow. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. Alright, cut these guys off. I want to kill everyone in Dover. So, you know what, I'm going to even position my subs to come down here, too. Oh, uh, don't do that. Hmm. That'd be okay. Keep building up our navy. And we're using sub fours, which is pretty good. Oh, come on. Seriously? Now the tanks got in, which is good. Send in the infantry again. I don't really care. I need these guys dead. Like, there's no joke about it. These guys... Nope, nope, you're not done. You are not done. You gotta kill them all. I don't want to spend forever doing this. You know what? Force attack. If you can't win, then you deserve to die. Come on. Even with overwhelming air superiority... Oh, who are we fighting? Oh, yeah. Who cares about them? No one cares about those people. Cool. Good. Did we surround them? I think we did. Okay, please stop. No, we lost it again? What? No, 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 no. We just won there, and you lost it? Okay, please stop calling. This is the problem with one of the new the new update. It's just that... Oh, we actually won there. Like, the, there's so many new governments that could be created that just drastically lower the lag. And yeah, there's a lot of divisions in the game now, but... Just drastic amounts of lag. Also, I did notice that I have a lot of manpower. I did raise my conscription level, if you're wondering. Definitely raised it. Definitely. Region-wide, thank you. Please, for the love of God, do not lose this. We're going to kill all almost 90 divisions in Dover and then sink every single one of them. Maybe we'll go with Japan. Oh, wait, or do the Cypher thing for Japan. Now, I'm killing these guys off first because they take too long to not focus on. Oh, look, supply problems. Good. Good. And they're invading New Guiana. New Guinea. I, don't, I really don't care. I really don't care about Japan. I don't even know why we're fighting each other. Oh, Germany took out a good chunk of Norway already. That's good. I doubt I can win here. But the less supplies they have, the better. Right, so you guys... If you were to attack now... Oh, we had... Did we kick them out? Did they die? The UK has it lost 2.54. They are literally at 99% capitulation. Good. Everyone's around London. Because we're going to burn it to the ground. I could give them force attack, but that's not probably going to be possible. But they can't reinforce or get more organization if people just keep attacking them. So well, that is a strategy. Maybe I won't use nukes. Hmm. I guess we might not. They're dying. Great. Thank God they're done. Thank the Lord. I am this. Wow, they didn't have very much, did they? Honestly, this took way too long to kill off the allies. That I'm really not interested in that. But you know what? I'll go ahead and take some good stuff. Holy cow! There's so much here. Uh, I don't care about Cyprus. Trucial states. I don't care about that either. Um, guess better start clicking then. Let's see. I definitely want all this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uganda. Burundi. 
Yeah, I definitely want Uganda. Um, Italy? I already gave you, like, Australia for some reason, so... You don't honestly deserve that much. You deserve some, of course. Of course. Yeah, Republic of the Sudan, that's fine. Take all of the rest of this part of Africa. Mm, where's France? There you go. Hmm. Not bad. That's a Yugoslavia. We want to make sure it looks okay-ish before we're done. Mexi Mexican Samoa? Really? Really? There's too many nations here now. Oh, and then there's, there's Civil War and stuff like that. You can have Albania. You know what? You can have all of Greece. Where's Romania? Where'd you go, Romania? You're not hiding from me. There you go. I'm taking all the Spanish Empire. I really don't care what this, uh, these people want. Thank you. Except for this. I, I don't mind giving maybe that to France. Seems like it would make sense. And then... Ah, uh, you know what? France can get this part of Switzerland. And Germany. You can have the Netherlands. I really don't care about them. You know what? It's going to be ugly. It's going to be real ugly. But I will give Italy the rest of Turkey. And Cyprus. Good, 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 good. And that actually connects to the lines a little better. And that tile has to leave. Um, India? Oh, well, let's give that to France, because they worked on that probably the most. Even though I could take it, I do have a little territory right there. That get, give them this, too. I don't, really don't care. Give them Burma. Do we, oh, we take all of China? Uh, Germany, take the Netherlands. Take all the Netherlands. I really don't care. You can take Ireland. Good. Just give Germany all of the UK because I really can't be bothered with the UK. I don't, as Portugal, care for the UK at all. There we go. Isle of Man's was taken as well. Good. The Netherlands. Germany. You get Denmark. You get Norway. And now, let's focus a little bit more down here. Colombia. Uh, Ecuador, I'll take that. Thank you. Honduras. I'll give that to Mexico, probably. Good, good, good. I guess I'll take all these garbage states as well. That'd be fine. Puerto Rico, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna make one heck of a Portuguese Brazilian empire again. I will take Panama, though. Alright, Mexico, your turn. Uh, there you are. Mexico. Italy, Italy, Italy. Okay, Italy's no longer in here. Oh, there they are. Cool. Dutch East Indies, you can have all that. I really don't... Oh, uh, you know what? I want the Dutch East Indies. That makes more sense for me. Oh, I can't even take that. Oh. Get a little more score first. Thank you. No, I'll even take the Philippines, because I really don't care at this point. Crucial states, no one cares. Malta. There you go. Uh, Chile. Uruguay, obviously we want that. Take whatever they have left there. Malaysia, thank you. You know what, Italy? I didn't give you much. Here, you can have China. <laughs> uh, that's probably too much score. Yeah, it's too much score. There you go, Italy. Nice. The United States, uh, give that to a good chunk of... Uh, Mexico, you get stuff like that. Mexico. Oh, I'm so sorry about this, guys. It's taking for me forever to do this. And you can have all this... You know what? There you go. Makes it easier on us. Oh, never mind. Take off some of these states. There you go. Germany. Take Czechoslovakia, of course. Germany, uh, you know, I'll take the rest of this, whatever it is. 
Cool. I can't be bothered with playing this campaign anymore. But I hope you enjoy this campaign, guys. It is definitely fun, especially in the early stages, playing as Portugal and trying to unite Brazil under one, you know, one flag. That's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely turned into a weird World War II, where all of Europe was actually pretty united together, except, for, of course, you know, the UK and the Benelux. Uh, provisional government of Panama. Sure, I don't care. But we did unite, or we at least have all of Iberia under us. And this is kind of disgusting, give us just one moment. Because Turkey, or what was known as Turkey, is very disgusting. There you go. What? Uh, come on. So laggy. Incredibly laggy. But anyways, that's how Europe looks like. Uh, it's okay. It's not great. But it's okay. So guys, hope you enjoyed this campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.